Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create tables via command line. Uh, as last time I showed you how to connect the database through a command line. And if you haven't watched my last video, please watch that because today I'm going to concentrate on how to create tables. So to begin with, I'm going to search CMD. And on CMD, I need to change the to bin directory where is where my database is. So CD uh, back backslash. Then I go to C drive. Then I can check where the Zami and the right here you can see Zami is over here. So I have to change to this Zam CD. Um, uh, and up here I have my SQL then I need to change to that CD my SQL and CD bin folder and check bin folder we have the uh, my SQL exe so I have to execute that so my SQL, my SQL enter then uh, if you have watched my last video, then uh, right here I used the username and password to get in here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use, I mean, I have disabled the username and password. So for your case, you may need to use a username and password, a root password. Okay. So uh, now we can just check the status of database status and um, right here we have connective connection ID is 26 current database we have none and uh, current user is ODBC at localhost this by default it came with this database and um, using the limiter that semicolon server version is 6.625 and the protocol version is 10 and connection is localhost via TCP IP DB card set is Latin 1 and server card set is Latin 1 and down here you have more other features and TCP port is 3306 uptime is 52 minutes and 37 seconds and thread is 1 and yeah so we need to create a database because I don't have database create create yes I have created a database uh, we are going to create a database called my database uh, right here we have got an error access denied for user aha it means that this user doesn't have the privilege to create a database so what i have to do i have to grant the privilege to this user. make sure you have zam uh, zam running so you have to start this apache in mysql and then uh, open the browser and go to localhost uh, php my admin then right here we can see that any usage grant no and any localhost you usage no so i need to give this localhost because all this localhost any localhost because any user and localhost they don't have any grant so we need to give them grant to create a database so edit the privilege and you can see here create is here and other bunch of other stuff the user can do so i'm going to give him all privilege and go so this is a command that you may like if you like to use on command line then you just have to type this uh, command here grant all privilege on this to localhost this okay 
go back to uh, and let's try again to execute the command okay then I need to restart the CMD maybe and let's go to back to C CD forward slash then CD ZAM CD my SQL and CD B folder then my SQL okay now let's create create table then the name of the table maybe people and uh, up here you have create create a table people id int and the integer which is two the size of two auto increment means it it will increment automatically and it's a primary key which means they they cannot be a duplicate data into this table uh, first name last name uh, added date excuse me this should be a date not data uh, which is the date salary and town and story it was just something just came to my mind and I just wrote this but this is the whole idea how to create a table but here I've noticed that there is a problem if we execute this command yeah we have no database selected so we need to use to select the database use my database that we created then we can create a database now I can do this create a database database and and this is the same thing I did here so enter now we have okay zero affected and this is the time it was taken and uh, if we want to see what the table looks like so we can use the command describe people the name of the table people table and we can see here we have uh, ID just exactly what I wrote here and uh, and if we want to delete the table it's easy we just have to type drop uh, table people enter and uh, it's gone so if I do this we get the error that table does not exist so thank you guys this was just an easy example how to create a table using command line please subscribe and like bye bye